This is the moment parents dream about. All those years of helping with homework, all that money spent on tuition and books have finally paid off. But wait till you see what some of our little darlings have been doing to get here. Cheat as much as you want. Cheat as much as you want. It'll only make you a better person. Half of the undergraduates who responded to one Canadian study admitted to cheating in university. Three quarters said they cheated in high school. The evidence and the cheating know-how are just a click away on the internet. A lot of brain power, new technology and some cold hard cash are going into beating the teacher and the test. Schools and universities everywhere are struggling to cope with an epidemic of cheating. This was a huge fraud from my perspective. Lots of money exchanging hands. There were high stakes involved. It's a fraud on many different levels. Uh, but most importantly, against the kids who play by the rules. It's almost become a case of who can cheat better. And it's never been easier. You can always order an essay online. They will also do anything to be successful in order to get attention. Because they also want to be loved. And what you're telling them is you're not loved for what you are, my child, my friend. You're loved for what you do, for your prosperity. And that's the insidious message that leads to dishonesty. Kids cheat when they believe that only success will get them love. Students will come in, and sometimes with their parents, uh, and they'll try to beat around the bush, so to speak, not to really tell me what they need. This is what they're looking for. This is an open mic. This will receive and transmit. One of those Bluetooth devices with a clandestine earpiece and a wireless connection to a hidden cell phone. Even people that really care about morality, really care about honesty, should be aware of the fact that oftentimes there are forces that lead us astray and made us cheat. If you have statistics that show half the people in the classroom are cheating, that's pretty high. Most people coming to a casino don't cheat. It's way less than 1%, and I think they're all doing it. There's a lot at stake, too, for honest students who don't cheat. It cheapens my degree, for starters, if people cheat. And it's not fair, and I think everybody should have an equal playing field. Parents need to understand that they're not doing their kids any favors by letting them cheat or indulging unethical behavior. Now that I'm a grown-up, that I have a job, that I have kids, I will not do it. No, not anymore, not again, no. Because that's not what I want to teach my children. 